He sat in on countless legendary recordings. He was Sinatra's right-hand man, played with some of the biggest names in rock and roll. He was there at CBGB's in 77, the Sunset Strip in 81. He's been on tour since 1866, and he's still going strong today. His name is Jack. This has been the middle of work, so we just act like that. You know, we've been waiting for days. Well, I think what these young artists, most Christian and the others, are doing here is unbelievable. Imagine, imagine they're doing it without any any public money. They're doing it more or less with the money given by a few private individuals and artists. So, it's extraordinary. I think the other thing is, in India, you know, we have a very wonderful own culture, but we have almost no confidence in our current contemporary culture. And what this Biennale is saying is that we must have confidence in contemporary culture. The Bollywood on its own is it not enough of a reinterpretation of our Indian past. We can go forward economically, but we need to go forward culturally. So this Biennale says, uh, we, can. we can and we must, and it's here to be seen, and often there will be things that artists make which we may not understand. So That's do you think that is one problem that we might have with the contemporary Indian art movement right now? That people are not able to reflect on the older practices and we're moving further ahead and just trying to adapt to well, certain... Well, I, 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 we don't even have confidence in the contemporary, in any contemporary practice. That's the problem. It's as if we're always looking backwards. Uh, right. You know, right, right. Uh, whether it's in the art, Indian art market or whether it's in... In, in, our, in Whether even if you're talking about classical music, you know, uh, India's kind right, of got right, stuck. Right, right. Where's the new class? Yeah. So it's as if we are stuck in the past. What this Biennale is saying is that we also have a real future. And we can reflect and move forward yes, from exactly. that. Yes, We have to take back, you know, government does nothing about anything contemporary. Not contemporary architecture, sure, not contemporary, you know, music, the arts, yeah. nothing. Right. Now, Completely that done. is unacceptable. Right. I think we have to be very clear. So these boys here, we're doing this Biennale. Right. What courage. Right. I've got to say, what a courage. Right. So I think we've all got to say that very loudly. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, and embrace it. So this is the first time you have made a one for it here. Yes, I've uh, shown some works, but I've never actually made a work here. Yeah. So, True. What, what's the attraction? Does it signify for you? you know, uh, well, I've always, I've always wanted to, to yeah. come and make, make work here. It's just somehow not happened in that way, which is a, a shame. <laughs> oh. Anyway, now it sets me on a different path. So now I can move forward. Will we be seeing more of you coming back to Kochi afterwards? I love Kochi. It's so good. It's such a pleasant uh, place to be. Uh, yes, indeed. Yeah. About the role reversal between artists becoming curators and curators taking on the role as an artist. Is there a, <laughs> is there a, is there a category uh, that. I, I, I think anybody can be an artist, first of all, <laughs> including curators. Uh, but, you know, I think artists have a very particular point of view. So, um, if I've understood correctly, um, Jitish has try to look at post-colonial discourse uh, and understand Kochi's very particular uh, relationship to its past and its possible futures, to, to um, 
its relationship with the European culture of old and its contemporary place and so on. So, and many of the artists are working around those kinds of themes, aren't they? So, I mean, artists have a, have a, have a point of view and I think it's important. Do you think there's just a space in Indian art fraternity for that matter where we are pitching? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't get Do you think there's just a space in Indian art fraternity where we reach a space where Kochi Binale might become versus Indian art fair? Do you think it's reached that point or do you think that's too early to say or make judgments like that? It is hard. We hope both survive well. You know, we, right. want, we want the art scene to thrive. Right. Um, both commercially and uh, curatorially. Yeah, curatorially. I mean, the problem has been perhaps that there's been too much speculation with with younger Indian artists over the last in ten years ago, let's say, and the market has suffered because of that. Mm -hmm. So we have to recover that ground. We have to recover uh, uh, the, the understanding that making art isn't just about making money. It isn't just about money. You know, it's a, it's a. Yeah, I mean, I hope somebody buys this work, but I doubt they will. So it's, I don't make it in order to. To, to, commercial, uh, to you know, yeah. it's not a commercial proposition. Right. I, I think that's good. See, I think Definitely. we all have some part. Then practice becomes different from yeah. just a commercial.